everybody, it's Adam and Rick. Welcome to the Roadside Gourmet. Today we are going to make a one pan Swedish meatball pasta. Uh, today's recipe is inspired by a request from a new friend of ours, Amanda Zito of As the Magpie Flies on YouTube. Um, Amanda runs a great channel. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, uh, we'll put a link below to, uh, to her YouTube channel. Uh, she does some great, great uh, moto vlogs and, and trip videos and camping videos. And so we reached out to her and said, hey, Amanda, what, uh, what, would, you like, what would you like to see us cook? Yeah, and her response was a one pan pasta. So for Amanda, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, so Amanda, this one's for you. So we're just going to start out. And uh, uh, going forward, I'm actually going to break down the full cost of, of everything that we cook so that you can, uh, you can see ex exactly where, where the cost is. And part of the inspiration for that is meals like these. Now, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to badmouth these. They, uh, they serve a purpose. We do carry them on our bikes, um, but uh, they're, they're very expensive. Uh, this this pasta primavera was fifteen dollars. We're going to show you how to replace this in a much more cost-effective manner. It takes a little bit more work, a little bit more forethought. Picked up some ground beef, and one of my favorite things when I go to a grocery is finding a sticker that says fifty percent off. So this seven-dollar pound of ground beef costs three dollars fifty. Yep, saving money. <laughs> so to make our um, meatballs, very, very simple. We're just going to take a little bit of onion. Dice that up. Okay, so we've diced our onion. We've got our medium ground meat. And all we're going to do is throw a bunch of things in there and then make meatballs. So if you want to fire that up now. So we just want to work this meat. Make a little bowl in the middle of it. Crack an egg. A little bit of breadcrumb. Our onion. If you could grab the salt and pepper and just give that a good little grind. Beauty. So we're just going to work all of that in together. Yep. A couple of squirts of Worcestershire, or however you say that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay, so we've worked all that together. Now all we need to do is make some meatballs. How does uh, five meatballs each sound? That's a lot of meatballs. So if you want to just keep an eye on them while they brown. Yep. And while that's going, I'll just get everything else ready. Give our green onions a little dice. Man, what a beautiful day. It is gorgeous out. Okay, and then for, for the sauce, we're just going to grate up a little bit of Parmigiano. Or Parmesan cheese.
again, we want to thank Amanda for being the inspiration for this meal. If you have an idea for a meal that you'd like to see us cook roadside, whether that's on our burners or whether that is over a campfire, uh, just comment below. Let us know and, and we'd be happy to try anything. Can't rush cooking. No. 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 We could have just done beef, onions, and like we didn't have to do meatballs. Right? It's true. Like we could have just seasoned it the same. And, but I like the meatballs. We're doing the meatballs. They're aesthetically pleasing. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so that's rocking away. Yep. Now. In doing this, you don't need the meatballs to cook all the way through because we're going to add liquid. We're going to add our pasta. This is going to, to simmer for a little bit. So at this point, I'm going to get Rick to add um, about, a, about three quarters of a cup of water. Perfect. And about the same of milk. Okay, and then grind a bunch of salt and pepper into there. And I'm gonna add a handful, about, about half a cup, maybe a little bit more of our parm. We just have regular no yolk egg noodles here. Give that a little stir. All right, we're gonna throw the lid on that, let it simmer for five to seven minutes, and we'll come back and take a peek. Let's take a look. Oh, isn't that looking lovely? It is so. Let's give that a quick little stir. And taste. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more pepper. And a touch more parm. And let's give that another stir. Look at that. Test a noodle. Maybe another minute. Yeah. Maybe another minute. Cover it back up. Yeah. If you're enjoying our videos, please be sure to hit the little like button, hit the bell so you'll know whenever we put a video up. Hit subscribe, you know, all the regular buttons and please share it with everybody that you know so that we can uh, continue putting videos together for you. Now let's take a look at this. Oh my, Lanta. That's beauty. Yes, sir. All right. So now we'll add our green onion. And what the heck? Another mitt full of parm because parm never hurt anybody. Hang <laughs> <laughs> all that's left, Rick. Let's dish it out. So, in a little bit more than the time suggested on the package of the freeze-dried meal, we have put together, for less than the cost of one of those, a beautiful 
Swedish meatball Parmesan pasta. So Amanda, this one's for you. Challenge you to come up with another idea for us. Mm. Mm. What? Fantastic. That's solid. And hot. Well, it just came out of a really hot pan. Mm, no. Now, is there anything else you'd like to say? Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like my silent Bob today. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>